Welcome back, this is the Emma Jack, and today we have Gunslinger Suicidal Biotics Lab. I've, uh, I've, I've avoided talking about my weight in too much detail, to uh, because I'm self-conscious about it, I'm self-conscious about it to, uh, to a great extent, actually. Um, but I think that talking about it in more detail and, and, and discussing the specifics of it and the problems that I'm facing and, and whatnot is going to help me along the, the path and, and with the motivation. Uh, to keeping it up and keeping it working because I've done it before and I've 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 uh, I've been where I am right now and I've I've lost a lot of weight and I've 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 put it all back on you know I put it all back on so we're gonna we're gonna start at the the beginning roughly back in 2000 2012 back in back in 2012 I uh, I weighed I was a uh, 17 or 18 years old, 17 I think, um, maybe 2013, it might have been 18, it was, I was either 17 or 18, and, uh, I, uh, I would have, uh, I would have been 6, or 5 foot 10, I would have been 5 foot 10, and I would have weighed about 170, 285 is, is generally about where I kind of hovered around at, uh, at the time, for, uh, for quite a period of time, and at the time I was, Already self-conscious about my weight. Little did I know that uh, it would only get worse. Uh, but I was self-conscious about my weight at the time as well. Um, but at uh, like that summer, we went on a vacation to a campground, and uh, our house flooded while we were out. Like uh, the toilet cracked and flooded our whole house because we forgot to turn off the water line. We just turned off all of the water. You know what I mean? We just we forgot to like turn off the water to the house. We we just made sure all the water was off uh, and then like did the, the thing inside but the water was still going to the house and so it, it still exploded and, and made a whole mess of everything which was uh, which was a disaster and it sucked it really really sucked because while it was covered by insurance we we, we didn't have to pay for it you know there are specific there are certain costs that you have to pay for even if insurance is going to get you in a hotel or something like that um, just because the quality of life goes down and uh, like how you're used to, to doing things is has changed. You're gonna end up spending more money on on food. You're gonna end up spending more money on like delivery um, and all kinds of stuff like that, right? And for me, what what ended up happening was I ended up eating a lot, and I never stopped. Like I got really depressed at the time, like super super depressed. It was major low low point in my life, like by far the lowest point in my life. Um, and I got super depressed, and I ate a lot, um, a lot, a lot, and uh, it was a problem. And I never released, really, I, uh, I didn't stop for, uh, for quite some time, until about, uh, hello, until about uh, 2016 or 2017, when I had, uh, when I'd reached my, my heaviest point at, uh, at the time, which is, is the same point that I weigh now, or that I did, a couple of weeks ago, anyway. I, uh, I have lost a little bit at this point. Um, but, uh, I stepped on the scale, and the scale said 250, right? And I'm like, no, I, I can't, I can't keep doing this. Like, I can't, I can't keep, you know, doing this to myself. Like, it's just not, it's not okay. Uh, and so I, I decided to work on losing weight. And about seven or eight months later, it was coming up to Halloween, and uh, I had lost just about 50 pounds. Was it like 202, 203 generally? Depending on, you know, the day that I weighed myself and the time that I weighed myself. Um, I, I generally do around 202-ish. Uh, so yeah, I didn't quite make it to under 200, but I, I made it to, to almost there, right? And then I stopped. I, I didn't continue losing weight. I didn't, uh... I stopped. That was it. Something and uh, I didn't. I didn't start eating again. I just. I stopped losing weight. I was maintaining a weight for for probably a year or two. I was. I was maintaining the the 200 to 210 range, and I was doing it really, really well. And I was honestly, I was pretty content with that. Um, you know, I was already. I was. I was. I was. I was. I wasn't gaining. I wasn't losing, but I wasn't gaining, and I was at a weight that was. That, that I wasn't happy with, but that was already like such a such a huge improvement over 
over what I had had before that uh, I was still I was still content with it and I was like yeah you know I'll uh, I'll get started on on losing the weight again and uh, we'll, we'll get back to the, the other bit but like taking a break here isn't that bad since I'm not gaining weight I'm just not losing weight anymore and uh, it wasn't like the uh, that I, that my diet that 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 the diet I had chosen for myself was stagnating me there that that was what that dag that what that diet would maintain with my current um or at the time my current uh like activity level like no no it was um I had I'd given up on the diet entirely and uh, I I was I was eating candies and chocolates and fast food and all these things that uh, that that you, that's not really good for you. To, to be eating as regularly as I was, um, and uh, oh boy, that's oh boy, that's brutal. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, it was it was it was it was honestly pretty good. And then I started to eat too much again, and uh, this was fairly recently, like probably within the last nine or ten months that I've uh, I've started really putting the weight back on and I have uh, a couple of weeks ago I hit 250 again and all of uh, all of the effort that I put in all the work and the time and the energy well you know the lack of, of time and energy that I put in um, the, the dedication and persistence that I had uh, that I'd done had all been taken away you know it was all just poof up into the air because uh, I've ruined it. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd, uh, I'd ruined it completely. And as it was going, it was funny because, uh, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd be weighing myself regularly. I always weigh myself regularly. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I built the habit of it. And I just, I do it. So I, uh, every time I shower, I weigh myself. Because the, the scale's right there. So may as well. Um, and I'd see myself at, like, 220. I'd be like, it's okay. You know? It's okay. I'm, I'm still, you know, 30 pounds down. Like I've, I've put on 20, I've put on 20, but I'm still, you know, 30 pounds down from, from the end. You know, it's, it's okay. Just, just uh, get back on it and, and you'll be good, you know? And I do think that is a good, I do think that that is a good outlook to have because, uh, you know, yeah, you, you are still making progress. You are still doing okay. Just, just make sure you get back on You just, you have to actually get back on it, right? You have to actually do that. You can't just say that it's okay because you could do that, you know? Um, but anyway, that uh, that happened like every ten pounds, every time I weigh myself, really. I'd be like, yeah, but I'm, I'm still thirty pounds down. It's still okay. Now I'm not. Well, now I'm like five pounds down. But um, that, that's mostly water weight anyway. Probably. For, for, how, for how quickly it's been since my last. Uh, anyway. So that's uh kind of how I've gotten to where I've gotten to. I'm, I'm uh, 248 right now. 248. It's uh, it's quite hefty. It's quite hefty. I uh, I don't deny it. But I I feel confident in, in being able to, to stick with it and do it. I mean, you know, for it, it's it's weird, right? Because when when you're on a when you're when you're eating healthy, right? When you're when you're eating the right amount of food that you should be eating, you feel hunger at times, right? Like you do get actual genuine hunger and it's not bad it's not painful you know it's just like right now it's it's dinner time and and i feel mildly hungry i have a bit of recording to do first but um after after i get the recording done i'm gonna go eat and i'm hungry right normal perfectly normal when you're eating so much this feeling isn't something that you ever get ever i i, I didn't feel hungry because I would always eat um, even if I wasn't hungry I would eat and uh, so hungry hunger isn't a feeling that I'm used to at this point because I, I wouldn't feel it you know what I mean I would I would eat before I got hungry and uh, I still do I still do eat before I get hungry like if I wasn't hungry right now I'd still be going and eating dinner because it's dinner time and I'm gonna eat dinner I know that I'm eating a, a, a fine amount of, uh, of calories, and if I'm not hungry, then I'm going to be hungry soon, and I'd rather just get it over with now and deal with it, you know? It's fine. But, um... It wasn't like it wasn't like I was planning it out, and I was like, yeah, well, this is the amount of food that I should be eating. This is a reasonable amount of food for, 
for one person to consume in a day. No, it's just like I want to go eat. I'm gonna I'm gonna order some pizza. I'm gonna order some McDonald's, some Wendy's. I'm gonna get some Chinese or Japanese or this or that, and I would just eat it, you know. And uh, hungry or not, it would be uh, it'd be consumed. And uh, like that's a, that's a major problem, right? But skip the dishes. It's the uh, it was it was last night. It was uh. Because it's an addiction to food, right? It's, it's a genuine, real addiction to, to food uh, that I have. And I have to break that addiction and then uh, work past it, right? Like that's Money anyway. how this works. That is that is what this is. That's that's what it's all about. It's it's breaking your addiction to the food so that you can eat it more moderately, right? It's like uh, like with anything, you know, with your, the amount of time you're spending on a computer or how much you're drinking or... or or smoking or anything you know you want to limit the amount of time you're spending doing it to a, a healthy level or at least the healthiest level that uh, that you can manage and then continue moving towards healthy which uh, for the the purpose of smoking means not doing it um but it's an addiction right and uh it's habitual um so typically what i would do is um not every night but but often often um, like maybe once every week or two kind of thing. Uh, I would, it would come up to like 11 o'clock and, uh, 11.30 is the last time that I can order food around here. I can't order food, uh, after 11.30 from my, uh, my, like, delivery service. I can, I can order, like, pizza or whatever after 11.30. But, I can't order, um, I can't order, like, regular restaurant stuff after 11.30. That, it's, it's closed, right? Like, the delivery service is, is closed. And uh, most of the restaurants, for that matter, are closed as well. Um, but uh, 11:30 is, is is generally about when that's that's the cutoff point for me. When I'm I'm like, yep, I can't get food. If it's past 11:30, I don't I can't eat anything. I have to make it myself, or uh, or or have something made already for me. Um, man, this uh, whole talking all day thing is really working on my voice. But hey, what can you do, right? Gotta hydrate, gotta hydrate. <sighs> what are you doing, dude? We're gonna go around this way. Um, so anyway, last night, I uh, I had that, that feeling, that feeling. You know, it's coming up to 11 o'clock, and I'm like, I gotta order food. You know, I could, I, could go for, I could go for some chicken nuggets right about now, you know? And uh, it really drove home how... Like ingrained it is into into my like habits that uh, that it's like popping up and just like forcefully there. I'm like, no, I just, I want I want to do some ED. I was doing some ED2 runs last night with uh, with some clanmates, and uh, they were like, we can go and do some ED2. Do you want to come do some ED2? And it was like 11 o'clock, and I'm like, ah, but like I could order food. I could order food instead of doing ED2. I'm, and I'm, I'm like thinking about it as it's going through my mind because it's not like. It's, it's like it's weird, right? Because you have these thoughts, right? You have these thoughts, and uh, I'm I'm able to think it. I'm able to think, you know, yes, I want food. I want to order chicken nuggets. I want to order a burger. I want to order pizza. I want to order Japanese. You know, whatever, right? And I, I can recognize it as being, you know, an addiction kind of thing, right? That oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Couldn't get through there. That was brutal. It was brutal, dude. I can recognize it as being an addiction. And I can look at it and be like, I don't want to do that, though. Like, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to order food. I, I want to go do, like, an EDC run with, uh, with the clanmates. You know, like, that's what I want to do. That's what I would have more fun doing. Uh, so that's what I ended up doing. Um, but, like, as it was happening, I'm, 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 I'm just, like, looking at it. And it, just, it was, it was eye-opening to me with how... Yeah, with with how just deeply ingrained it is into into my habits that uh, that when it comes up to eleven o'clock, sometimes I just I'm in the mood to, to order food. I don't know what the the trigger is. I don't know what the what's causing the the feelings of of anxiety that come around it. Because there is there is like this anxiety that comes up when it approaches eleven thirty. You know, I'm like, oh well, I'm not gonna be able to order food. I'm not gonna be able to get food. I'm not gonna be able to order my food. It's not even like I do it every night. Like. It's it's not a it's not a super regular occurrence anyway. Um, 
but it's like, it's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy how much of an addiction it is. And uh, I'm glad that I'm able to, to break it. I'm super, super glad. So like I said, I am uh, I am down a little bit right now. I mean, it, it's been a week and a half, you know? It's been a week and a half, so. And, uh, great. Great, dude. It's been a week and a half. Um, I couldn't have possibly lost a lot of weight, right? But, um, I don't know. It's, it's always, a uh, weight loss is always demotivating to me. Um, because you don't get immediate, like, uh, an immediate response. You don't even get, like, a long-term, like, a, a medium response. You know, it's only long-term. You have to do it for, for, like, a month or two. And then, and then you'll notice, and it'll be a huge difference after a month or two. But until then, you'll be like, I just don't, I just, I, I can't, I can't see. And then, like, one day, you'll just get on the scale, you'll look at yourself in the mirror, and uh, you'll be like, wow. Wow, you know? And getting to that point, it's a little bit hard. It's a little bit hard. I will, uh, I will admit it. But the, the hard part is is just in in being able to motivate yourself to do it if you're good at motivating yourself to do things then it's fine you know the way that i look at it is i think i've talked about it before but like in in runescape i could grind out 99 agility i don't like agility i hated it it sucked but i could sit there for a week and a half and uh hammer it out really really quickly and just get it done just suffer through it and, and get it done and i'm happy to done it and uh, it's kind of a similar thing for me um with this, right? It's just, I sit down, and I don't eat. You know? I don't eat. And, uh, you know, the one thing with weight loss and the weight management in general is it's very easy to go overboard. Um, one of the, the biggest things that, uh, that you have to make sure you're aware of is to, A, don't set goals. Don't be like, I'm not going to stop until I get to, like, 150 or something, right? Because, like, honestly, I don't know what a healthy weight for my height is. I'm 5'10". I'm a trans woman. Like, what's what's a healthy what's a healthy weight for me? You know. Oh well, it depends on on how much like muscles you have and how much uh, workout you're doing. So if I don't uh, I don't have goals because goals just disappoint you. Um, my God, can we have less husks? Please, can we have one video without like a billion husks? Um, like goals just disappoint you. They uh, they just let you down. Um, so my, I don't have, a, I don't have any weight goals, you know, I don't have, a, I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna be done when I'm at 160, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna eat a healthy meal, and I'm gonna get to a healthy weight, and when I feel like, yeah, this is good, then that's good, but it's super easy to go overboard with that, too, because you can just keep going, and you can never be satisfied with it, and, and keep going into, you know, an eating disorder kind of thing, right? Like, at a certain point, I, I'd, I'd have to stop eating food entirely to be able to continue losing weight, and that's not good. But I wouldn't do that either. Um, although I have talked about it a few times. Um, being that I just forget to eat at times. Like right now, I am putting off eating for uh, for recording. But I've got to get... I gotta get these episodes done, dude. I gotta get them recorded. I, I wanna get it over... I wanna get it out of the way. Um, but it's... Uh, yeah, it's... It, it's getting done. It's getting done. Like I said, I'm uh, about 248 right now. And we're we're working on it. We're working on it. We're making progress. You know, I haven't I uh, haven't been under 250. Every, and whenever I weighed myself on the the scale, oh my god, what the heck? I haven't been under 250 when I weighed myself on the scale in a few weeks. So even though you, know, you can argue that it's water weight, I'm pretty sure I've lost some weight. I'm pretty sure I've, I'm pretty sure we're we're making progress. I mean, I'm not even eating that much, right? I'm eating. A, an okay amount of food, right? Like I'm not hungry 24/7, and that's that's kind of my my metric for what it is. I I, I don't wait until I'm hungry. I uh, I typically eat after I stream if uh, if the kitchen's open, or I wait until they're done and then I'll go eat. And then if I'm hungry uh, later on at night, I might grab a, a quick snack, some some cucumber or uh, leftovers or whatever, just a light something to hold me off. I know that a lot of people just say, hey, just wait until the morning and you'll be good to go. And for me, I'm just like I don't know. As long as it's like right before you go to bed, like I don't know, just munch on something, dude. <laughs> it's not, it's not the end of the world. Just, just don't munch on too much, you know. 
enough to enough to tie you over until the morning and then maybe you have a smaller breakfast if you had like a particularly large snack but if you're hungry you're hungry dude that's your body telling you that uh, you haven't eaten enough today it's your body's way of saying hey feed me dude and uh, I just I prefer to go to bed on a not full stomach but not an empty stomach you know what I mean so anyway it's uh, it's coming along it's coming along real well I'm glad to have uh, to talked about it in more detail I think it's gonna help me in uh, motivating myself to keep up with it and I think that having it out there is gonna help or might motivate other people to hold me accountable to it or whatever I don't know but I think just having it out there is gonna be a big change for me because it's gonna make me feel obligated to do it which is, is a good thing it's gonna be that impetus that I need so to speak um, Anyway, I, uh, yeah. it's a problem, man, it's, it's a problem that I've been dealing with for, well, yeah, about uh, eight years now, about eight years I've been fighting with my weight, I don't know, it's gonna be done in a year, that's all, that's all I'm thinking about, it's done in a year, I did get some voice work done today, I got a, a little bit of voice work done. I don't know. It's uh, I, I've mentioned it before, but it's just it's really hard to do it when you don't have somebody to like give you feedback on it. But I am thinking I am gonna change the voice soon, very very soon. You might change, like uh, I say, very very soon. It might be a month away kind of thing. Uh, but I think I'm gonna change the voice. It's uh, back on the weight though. Back on the weight. Um. It's it's kind of fun because I it, like with with COVID I haven't seen anybody right like I've talked to people but I haven't seen anybody you know what I mean so depending on how long it is until I actually see them again like see my my friends and and colleagues and, and people like until I actually go and and see people who who have last seen me. if if it's a year from now that I next see them then uh, it'll be in for quite the surprise when they see the uh, the change. I mean, in a year from now, just like so many things have been changing, as I've, as I've discussed in a previous episode, you know, the new voice, the new weights, the new no more beard. I'll be more feminine. I'll be like, everything. I'll be, I'll be like unrecognizable in a year, completely. Is the is the goal? I want somebody who looks at a picture of me today to look at a picture of me from a year from now and be like, no, these are not the same person. They're not the same person. You know, that's that's my goal. That's my goal. You know, somebody who sees me now and somebody who sees me in a year from now is like, oh, who are you? You know, that's what I want. Now, my friends would obviously know who I am when uh, when I show up. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? They're like, oh, hey, Shar, you look great. You know, <laughs> but like, I want them to, I'll, I want to give them that surprise if it's, if it's possible. I mean, if I hang out with them sooner, then like, pff, so be it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like, well, I can't hang out with you because I've got a surprise building up for you. You know, no, but. If it happens to happen, if it just happens to line up like that, then uh, I think it'd be pretty funny. I think it'd be pretty fun. It's probably happening to a lot of people in with uh, with the COVID thing, right? Like a lot of people going through like huge transformations over COVID. A lot of people putting on a ton of weight over COVID, losing weight, you know, working on uh, spending this time with themselves to, to further their, their goals, their personal goals, or making bad choices or whatever and then when you find somebody again you're, you're unrecognizable whether for the the right reasons or the wrong reasons um but it's probably a fairly common thing yeah throw your throw your throw your gas right there and then shoot me dude it's probably a fairly common thing that's happening in uh in the world right now with covid because you have such long periods of time before you see somebody right anyway that's the uh, that's the story. That's the story. It's a good story. You know my weight now. So it's a question you're not supposed to ask a lady, apparently. It's a question you're not supposed to ask somebody. Ah, it's good to talk about. It's good to talk about. I mean, what else am I going to talk about? It's a good topic, right? It's a good topic. It's a it's a personal topic that people might enjoy listening to. But that's a. Uh, yeah, eight years, man. Eight years. I'm finally, you know, nine years. It'll be nine years by the time I'm done. Well, about nine years. By the time I am done 
with uh, with the weight issues. That'll be sick. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.